is too much. Then they lose a few pounds and then they start going back and then just gain the weight right back. So it's, it's really a lifestyle change. And if you're not committed to that, you're not going to get permanent results. Well, I've been doing this for a very long time, so I uh, do like to compete here and there. Um, I do these little balking cycles and these little cutting cycles. Right now, I'm sort of in a maintenance phase, a pretty decent body fat percentage, probably around 10% or 12%. That's kind of like a really good percentage for me to keep. Uh, in the next few months, I'll probably will put on a few pounds of muscle. That's my goal, maybe like uh, five pounds or so over three or four months. Uh, while maintaining that body fat percentage, so that's going to be my immediate goal. Other than that, you know, pretty good. Yeah, this is actually an interesting watch. It's, uh, it's a guy named Ralph Christensen. And, uh, is it Ralph? Yeah. It kind of looks like a Richard Mill kind of thing, and they, they're actually really nice. About, Anywhere between 350 and 1,000 bucks. It's kind of like my everyday watch, but I really like it. They make it all kinds of different colors. It's really nice. Well, I mean, obviously over here on vacation, I'm not, you know, really watching it like I do at home. At home, I, I try to eat one gram per pound of body weight uh, for protein. So like I eat 200 grams, 220 grams of protein per day. And then the rest really doesn't matter to me as long as I hit that. And I maintain a certain amount of overall calories that I eat, somewhere between 2,000 to 2,500. But after I hit the 200 grams of protein, I don't care about the carbs and the fat as long as I don't go over that, that calorie goal. So now I weigh out all my foods. But 